Hello, 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 hello. We are live. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I know you miss me. I've actually missed being at this space. My name is Priscilla Kuma. If you're wondering who I am, I'm a registered nurse originally from Ghana, based in the USA, where I work as a registered nurse. And I am the lead consultant for US RM Party Consult. I know you've seen a lot of our success stories. People were hopeless, they didn't have any faith, but they found UBC the consult and then they successfully written an class and passed. It is doable and you can be the next person. But today we're focusing on UK trained nurses. If you're a nurse who went to school in UK and you want to work in USA and you've heard all these stories, it's not possible and this, you'll be rejected by all these evaluation companies, whatever. Anyway, today I have somebody on here who is just like you. He is a UK trained RN and a satisfied clients of UPC and he'll tell us how everything has been going so far for him. Once again, if you want to work in USA, you did a school in the USA, you want to be an RN in the USA, you are a psychiatry nurse, you are a midwife, you are a general nurse and you don't know how to go about it, go to our website www.usrmpathyconsult.com. Register on there, we'll get in touch with you and then we set the ball rolling for you. It's doable. Forget everything and just get in line. Retrogression or not, you have to get this thing done. Rather have the license at hand than not to have it at all. Anyway, welcome to my channel and please introduce yourself to the viewers. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Chris Ubieze, um, a UK trained nurse and a UK registered nurse. And Chris, you originally come from Nigeria, I believe. Yeah, I came from Nigeria um, about five years ago to the UK. Um, so after studying um, my first degree, um, I did some care jobs, so I now had the, so that nursing is a very good, because back home, we used to know, um, have this mindset that nurses are on women, men don't really go to nursing in, in my country. So we see it as a women career. So, but when I came to the UK and uh, I saw, I was exposed, um, I saw so many men in the, in the in the career. So I said, oh, this this could be doable and it's a very good uh as uh, oh, I call it, uh, you'll be satisfied when, when you are in the career. So I said, okay, I, this is something I could do. So I, I had um, some jobs, some care jobs, some like for two years, and said, okay, let me try, because before you, you become, um, you will be admitted to study nursing in the UK. You must have that background. You must have a care background. You must must have done care. It's one of the requirements. So. I did my application, I did the interview, I succeeded, I studied nursing here. So after studying, I registered, I started practicing. So, but my, my final destination has been to go to US. So when I, when I saw, and I now went online and uh, saw so many stories and the UK turn nurses are, can, it's difficult for them to migrate to the UK because, uh, to the US because of the, Credentialing and all those stuffs, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was heartbroken. Seriously, I was heartbroken. So, but my father normally tells me that what you're looking for is looking for you. So I started searching, 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 searching online, till I came across Mrs. Priscilla and UPC. I started going deep, 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 deep. She was still telling us, giving us hope, giving us hope, giving us. I said, "Why? Where is the hope? Everything I'm seeing, there is no hope." I said, "Okay, let me just try. Let me just register. Let me just register and join." So I, I joined, and everything is is moving on well. Okay, good to hear. So, what type of nurse are you? I'm an adult nurse. Yeah. Okay, and you studied that in the UK, so that's like a three year program. Um, you know what? It's not really a three year. It's the master's one I studied. Wow. So you have the master's yeah. one. I've had this question come before. I always yeah, ask yeah, yeah, me, yeah, I have yeah, MRC yeah, nursing, yeah. can I do this and that? Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about that because a lot of people have that background and they are wondering if they can go through. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm in Manchester, so I studied in Manchester. So um, I studied in one of the schools, one of the universities in Manchester here, the two-year program. So uh, this is just like a very fast-paced program that's the everything is called they just uh, compacted everything together that because normally nursing in uk is three years undergraduate 
So they did everything in two years. There's a lot of um, placements, a lot of uh, studies and everything. You have to be very, very, very tedious and hectic. So you just enroll before you know it, you do your placement and you come and you register with NMC after two years. So it sounds like you had a first degree first before going to do this. What, yeah. what did you study at, at your first degree? I studied, I, I, I studied, I have three degrees now. I studied chemistry in my undergraduate. I studied biotechnology in UK before going to the nursing home. So after the biotechnology, you went to do the care, care home nursing home? I was, I was, I was, I was already working in the care home before. When I came to the UK, is care that I started doing. So I was, I was in the, the, the as well, it called the root to that nursing. That care is the root to the nursing. So once you are, you are a, care, a care worker, I started as well the coordination professional. You will join, you will be going to the hospitals. From there, you will develop that passion for care and all those things. So I was already a care worker. So it was very easy for me. Because if you're a care worker or if you're a healthcare assistant, you're already in the pathway to become a nurse. So. Okay. So the MSc in uh, adult nursing program is two years, fast paced, like years, accelerated yeah. or compressed yeah. program. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And yes, you do yes. like um, clinical hours and then theoretical hours. Yeah. You... Exactly. Okay. First of all, you will, uh, one of the, will tell you one of the criteria you must have. And I think about 600 hours of care work. You must have it. If you don't have it, they will not admit you. So it makes them, it, it makes the teaching easier for them. You already know what you are doing. So, and you must have, uh, if you are not uh, just, if, if you have not studied for a very long time, you must have English requirements. And also you must pass English and math, basic sciences. So, um when they admit you, you must have you must be interviewed a very very serious interview because they have a specific number of um students they take so once you pass the interview you will join the course so during the course both theoretical we first we did the first four months of teaching then placements placements 11 weeks 10 weeks nine weeks we did more placements and there's a portfolio that you will submit before the admission. You must submit these are like questions. And also they count according to your uh, theoretical hours. So everything is just planned. Okay, so the requirement is you have 600 hours of working in a care home. About, yeah, about 600. Yeah. About minimum of 600 before you even make yeah, an application. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the program itself is like online, is it in person or is it hybrid? In person, no, 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 no. In person, person, you must be in the class. So it's classroom teaching. After the classroom teaching, you will go for placement. You will still, we still have skills, skill our skills day that the teachers in school how to can cannulation, categorization, all the normal skills. We come to school and do that. Yeah. Wow. So when did you finish that, and how long have you been practicing after that? Okay, I uh, I finished two thousand and twenty one. I started 2021. I finished 2023. So about okay. January last year, I started practicing. Yeah. Okay. So what built the interest of moving to the USA? I know you said you've always wanted to be. I've in the already. USA. This is not, this is my destination. This is this is where I want to be. Even when I came to the UK, but migrating to the UK is very easy than the US. And you spent five so, years and, in the UK. Yeah, I've spent five years in the UK. Yeah. So, but I know that. Um, um, you, nursing in the UK is too different from nursing in the US. I heard nursing in the US is everything. You're almost a, like a doctor in, in the US. That's <laughs> what so my friend told me. But we are not afraid. We will still get there. It's doable. We are doing it. So yeah. you can also do it. Yeah. But it's yeah. true. It's, yeah. it's very intense. That's true. Yeah, there are so many things. Yeah, there are so many things you will do yeah, as a nurse in the, U, in the US. But here we rely on doctors others yeah. oh i see anyway i'm glad that you're up for the challenge so you said if you were searching and you found upc online through my myself and my youtube channel okay yeah. and then 
you went ahead and enrolled. Tell me a little bit about the process. Um, I saw I saw it. Um, the people that you've interviewed and so many things. There was one lady that you interviewed that already did that also did the masters. That said that she was in the process of evaluation. That there are so many things they've gotten back to her. They told her to make up some hours and so many things. I said, okay, no problem. I will try. I, I registered. I made the payment. An email, um, and also Mr. Francis now followed me up. He was my case manager and followed me up to the evaluation process and everything. Okay. So currently. How was your evaluation? Were you rejected? Was the report positive? Mm, it was. It was. It was. It was really hectic because the first time I went, um, they gave me the form. I went to my school. The head, the lead, the program lead. I met him. I said, showed him the form. I want to migrate to the uh, US, and I wanted to fill this form. He said, oh, no, 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 no. You can tell nurses are not allowed to go to you. Yes. He told me right, that we are not, that the qualification is not matchable to the U.S. Oh, God. I said, what would I do? Mm, I said, okay. She now, he now told me that I should go and meet um, my personal tutor, that she can do that. She can fill all those hours. And so I said, okay, no problem. I met with the, I emailed the, my personal tutor. She said, She's not in the right position to do that. But I should go to the um, program lead. I made the program lead that this is what she says. She, okay, then I said, now I had to refer me to the nursing support for my school. So then I told me to I should bring the form that will help me and fill it. So I emailed the form. They filled it and sent back to me. And sent it back to the board, to the evaluator, sorry, to the evaluator. After evaluating, they saw they didn't fill it well. They didn't put the actual hours. They wanted them to put all the hours in all the categories. I had to bring it back. I made, it was a very long process. A very long process. So after everything, I know how many times I went back. It was it was I nearly gave up. So like I was praying, God, let everything happen. So after everything, they now had to finish, fill it very well and. And I had to send it to the evaluator. To hold and behold, they said yes, that is okay. They accepted it, and I have written my um, jurisprudence exam and passed. So everything is okay. I've done my thumbprint with the police. Everything has been done, and just claim for me to just prepare a little bit because I'm working. I can just have to take my time and prepare before I take a date. Okay, so you guys, you've heard it. Somebody who trained in the UK, even in the MSc program, has successfully gone through the process. And <laughs> we are the only ones who have the secret traits. We are the yeah, only ones who have the yeah. secret traits to show you where to pass. If you pass the popular route, you will be rejected, hands down. I'm not capping. If you pass the popular route, if you go to CGFNS, you'll be rejected outright and you have wasted a lot of money because it's expensive. It's about 480 to 500 to do that. And then the report is going to come back negative. But if you want to do this and you don't want to get stuck, you don't want to waste time and money, come find the UPC or what people call USRM Pathway Consult right here. Head to our website, www.usrmpathwayconsult.com. No matter where you are in the world, we can actually coordinate your fingerprint services for you. We know where to go for you to get it done. He is in UK. Our offices are mainly based in Ghana and I am the rep in the USA, but we are able to direct and assist people to achieve this goal. This is a satisfied client and we are encouraging you to make that move now. You've always wanted to work in USA and you've heard you can't. Now you know somebody. I've interviewed people in the past who were UK trained and now working in USA. And one of them was Suzanne that I shared it, uh, on my channel before. So it's doable. So any advice you have for people who have the interest and are still in doubt? Any words out there you want to let them know, Chris? Um, the most important thing for people that are in school, already in school that have not come out from school, make sure you got you have displacements. Like maternity was one of my challenges, pediatrics, mental health. These are the three places I had challenges. So make sure you have placements there and make sure they record it for you because they were asking me for the proof on all those things. Make sure. Then for those people that have finished, 
make sure you talk to yeah, the nursing support, the uh, personal tutors to help you feel it. And also don't give up, just join, 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 don't give up. Mm. Okay, thank you very much, Chris, for your time. As I said, make sure that clinical hours, make sure you're not missing any of the things, make sure you're documenting it, make sure you're keeping the record. Save those things in your emails or hard drive or wherever so that when you need them, you can call on them. Those some people are just, they don't take their classes seriously or they try to miss clinicals. This is not the time, especially if you have intentions of migrating, no matter where you're schooled and you have an intention of going to another country. Some of these things they would always ask for, no matter where you're going. If you're going to UK, US, Dubai, Saudi, whatever, make sure that everything that concerns your nursing career is documented and you've kept it safe. Keep it fake, safe, don't have them on paper. You can lose them in flood or fire or whatever. Always save them in your email or somewhere safe where you can fall on them. I am very happy to have you on the channel to share this process, to also encourage somebody, just like how somebody else on the channel encouraged you. And here we are today. We wish you all the best. Just try study hard. I know it's so hard working yeah, yeah, and okay, combining, yeah. but study hard, oh. write this in class, pass it, and then you come back onto the channel and share your testimony. Sure, Lastly, sure, sure. We'll for back. you, yeah. where you are, yeah. you have endless centers around, you can go and write. Some yeah. people have to save money and travel to a whole different country to do that. And that is a luxury of being in UK because you have access to an endless center. Any last words again before we go, Chris? Um, my last word is, um, this is the only place that this, this can be done. I've never seen any place that they are doing it. Even when you try to do it on your own, you can't do it. You get stuck. No. You cannot do it. You get stuck. I try using some so many um credential, but they don't even do anything. They don't do anything. Please join UPC, please. Thank you very much, Chris. I know you have to work, go to work myself. I have to head out. So I wish you a nice uh night shift. And, thank you very uh, much. Point. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Priscilla. Thank you, and we'll be back to have Chris on the channel. As I said once again, if you are interested in enrolling with UPC, head to our website, www.usrmpathwayconsult.com and register. We have social media platforms. I am on Instagram personally as Priscilla Kumaren. Just inbox me if you need anything. We have official pages as well. We have the USRM Pathway Consult Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. You can always reach out to us. Watch out for all the programs we have lined up for the end of the year. And there's a promo coming up so you can keep your ears on the ground for that. It's been nice having you and share this video with others. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.